Hi friends, in this video I give shortcut method of partial production expansion, right? So we know we are using uh, partial production expansion in uh, uh, Laplace transform and Z transform widely. So it takes so much of time for the students to find the answer. But uh, in this method we can find the partial fraction so fast. This is the, this method is applicable for type one only. Type two and type three I will explain it in the later videos. For example, if you want to find partial fraction of 7 by x plus 1 into x plus 2, sorry, right, so x plus 2, right, so what we do, if you want to find the partial fraction of this one, we will simply factorize like this, a by x plus 1 plus b by x plus 2, then we do some algebraic manipulation and find the value of a and b. Hereafter, if the partial fraction is like type 1, what you have to do is first to see the denominator of A. What is that x plus 1? From this find the value of x. x plus 1 is equal to 0. So this implies x is equal to minus 1. Substitute this x, x is equal to minus 1 in the left hand side except the factor of the, uh, sorry, denominator of A. So what is the denominator of A that you discard? except that you substitute x is equal to minus 1. This will give a. So a is equal to 7 by minus 1 plus 2 that is equal to 7. Similarly to find b what you have to do take the denominator of b that is x plus 2 equal to 0. This will give x is equal to minus 2. Substitute that into left hand side except denominator of b. So you remove x plus 2 take only x plus 1. So, b is equal to 7 by minus 2 plus 1 that is equal to minus 7. So, what happens? My answer is a is 7 by x plus 1 minus 7 by x plus 2. It looks simple. Right. First time you may feel tough but uh, once you practice it will be very very easy compared to the all the algebraic manipulation. For example, you see one more problem, 2x plus 3, right, problem 2, divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2, right, as usual, here I will do directly, a by x plus 1 plus b by x plus 2, what is the factor here, minus 1, so I have to substitute everywhere minus 1 except this one, so 2 minus 1 minus 2, plus 3 that is equal to 1, 1 divided by minus 1 plus 2, 1. So, a is equal to 1 divided by x plus 1. Simple, right? Next to I want to find uh, b. Here what is that? Minus 2, x is equal to minus 2. So, I have to substitute everywhere except this one. So, minus 2 means this is minus 4 plus 3 that is equal to minus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 minus 1. Right, so it is plus 1. So b is 1 divided by x plus 2. Shortest way, it seems right. Okay, let me do one more problem for you. Right, mm, okay. Oh, so what is problem number 3? Let us take this one x minus 13 divided by x squared minus 2x minus 15. So, what do you do? As usual, we do partial fraction. The factor is x minus 5 x plus 3. So, b by x plus 3. What I have to do? I have to find first denominator. So, what is that? x is equal to plus 5, right? Substitute here. So, first we simplify it. x minus 13 divided by x minus 5 into x plus 3 x is equal to 5, we have to substitute, except to this 5. So, what is the answer? 5 minus 13 divided by 8. So, it is minus 8 by minus 8 uh, plus 8 minus 1. Right? So, a is equal to minus 1 divided by x minus 5. Next, what we have to do? Uh, okay. Let us see. I will take some more color. Next, two, it is x is equal to minus 3. So, what we have to do? We have to substitute minus 3 here, except this factor. So, minus 3 means minus 3 minus 13 divided by right. So, what then minus 
3 minus 5 because we have to discard x plus 3. So what is that? Minus 16 divided by minus 8 that will give 2. So the answer is plus 2 by x plus 3. It seems very simple. Okay. So like that you can solve many problems within a fraction, right? When you by taking practice, you will get answer very quickly, right? So let me solve one more problem for you. Fine. Okay. For example, mm, right. So let us take this problem. 2, okay. That is that 2x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 5x plus 6. First factorize it 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 2, x minus 3. That is equal to a by x minus 2 plus b by x minus 3. We get this. Next what you have to do as usual. Right? So, substitute x is equal to plus 2. x is equal to plus 2 means we have to remove this one. So, 2 into 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. 5 divided by 2 minus 3 minus 1. So, 5 divided by minus 1 is minus 5. So, it is minus 5 divided by x minus 2. Next, what I have to do? Okay. Right. Next, I have to substitute x is equal to plus 3. So, again, you substitute 2 into 3, 6, 6 plus 1, 7. Now, you discard this one, 3 minus 2, 1. So, 7. So, my, right. So, it is uh, plus 3, 2 is 6, 6 plus 1, 7, 7 by 1, 7. So, it is 7 by x minus 3. That's it. Right? So, it is the simplest way to find the partial fraction expansion. Thank you.